Today I'm showing you guys my specialty Dragonfly Magic Organite. Um, as you can see, this one's air got captured in his little eyes. Just right off the top, please understand, I would never kill a dragonfly. Dragonflies are my spirit insect. If you love dragonflies as much as I do, you're going to love what I'm doing here. This is a dragonfly cocoon. This is what they hatch out of. This is what's left over after they hatch and fly away. Um, you'll see on my Organite page, link in the description, that I don't sell specific pieces of Organite. What I actually do is personally tailor Organite to what you need by using my intuition, tapping into your energy field and adding the stones that you need for your best self. So um, there's a lot of videos I have already put out about making Organite, what Organite is. I'll put links to those in the description if you need more information about Organite. This is simply a discussion of these very specialty pieces of Organite. What I'm doing here is capturing a little bit of dragonfly magic to add to the already really powerful Organite itself. So just a quick little synopsis if you need to know about organite it's really just stones and metals crystals specifically different types of crystals here I, you can see I've used opal moonstone gold copper and there's a lot of my specialty blend of crystal powder in here. Top secret! And a little bit of aluminum too. Um, Organite captures the energy fields of the crystals and the metals and they kind of fight, if you will, create a little vortex that sucks up positive ions and release negative ions. Negative ions are the good ions. Those are the ones you get in the shower when, from the water. You get the negative ions covering you. That's why you get your best ideas in the shower. Okay, this is one of the Flower of Life pucks. Um, what you need to understand about my Organite pieces that I do sell, they you can't have this one. What you will receive if you order the Dragonfly Organite is a specialty piece created for you. This is the Flower of Life puck. You can see the Flower of Life pattern on the top. And then I have pyramids also. I have large pyramids and small pyramids. What I've got going on in here is a dried up dragonfly I found on the road. Um, dragonflies start out as this little water bug. See him? This guy died. I found him in a hot springs and I brought him all the way home to Alaska. So I've got all three stages of the dragonfly in here because here's the pupa that a dragonfly hatched out of. Here's an actual dragonfly and here's the water bug. So I've captured so much dragonfly magic in here with the wings. And then obviously you have really cool crystals in here. I'm not going to explain them all. That's not what this video is about. Gold, copper, and other small stones mixed amongst the copper to be creating an awesome energy vortex. Yeah, you can feel this energy if you're sensitive, especially if you're empathic. You can feel these. You can feel the energy coming off of them. 
Uh, they're good for placing near electronics. They suck up the EMF fields. They create uh, positive energy and they basically clean up your environment of foreign interference that keeps you from having great ideas, clarity, inspiration, and intuition. All the things we want in our lives. So these are just two examples of my Dragonfly Magic Organite pieces. You can order a small pyramid those have flat tops. Uh, the large pyramid or the puck with the flower of life or a flat puck. They're obviously varying in prices. Um, and then I took you out to the pond today to show you how I collect the dragonfly egg cases. You could get a little idea if you want to collect them yourselves. So if you go to the edges of these little swamps where you find a lot of dragonflies, you go to the edges there, uh, you'll find the little cases that they hatched out of because they're like butterflies except their life cycle starts in the water. So you go somewhere near the water where you see a lot of dragonflies and then you go look down in there and made a little cocoon and it's this the little hooks on the cocoon feet stay attached to the, the branch after they hatch out and you can collect them and make cool stuff out of them. Only if they're already hatched. If they're still a dragonfly in there, obviously leave it so it can hatch into a dragonfly. I actually, while I was collecting these, now they're very fragile because these are just basically a leftover. <laughs> their feet are also sticky with hooks, so they're stuck together. Um, look, he's holding the wing. I'm trying to separate them without breaking them. It's okay if I lose a leg or something, but I like to have them fully intact. Just be very, very careful when you're pulling these off of the reeds that they're stuck on. So the dragonflies are in the pupa. They crawl out of the water when they're ready to uh, become dragonflies. They attach to a reed, and when they hatch, they leave their little cocoon behind. So there's a little bit of transformational energy captured in this. As you know, the world is made of energy and energy is capturable. And this is a teeny tiny little bit of dragonfly magic. This is my uh, haul from the other day. So when I was collecting the pupas, I stumbled upon a whole little patch of dragonfly wings and there weren't any bodies around so I don't know if they kind of washed up out of the pond because I was in a little edge of the pond and these were all over the ground. There weren't any bodies, there weren't any dead dragonflies. Um, but just these beautiful wings. So obviously a little bit of fairy magic captured in these. So if you order my Dragonfly Organite, I will be selecting the perfect stones for you, the perfect metals for you, a beautiful design for you. Each one is a piece of art. It's not crappy cheap materials like most people create Organite out of and then charge you an arm and a leg for like two dollars worth of materials. I'm actually not making a huge profit on these. I do it for fun and because I want to spread the magic. So if you're interested, link in the description section or watch some of my old videos. You can make your own.
landed on me. Dragon flies always land on me. <laughs> Let me get that other foot. It's trying to mate. I'm not a dragonfly. Ah! He's gonna lay his eggs on me.